What's going on guys? My name is Crimson Seabed and today we are here with another Oris Wi-Fi battle in the UU tier and I am going up against the head of the swarm himself, Shino World. So make sure you poke that like button for me going for 10 likes on these Oris Wi-Fi battles. Let's discuss teams. I am bringing the Choice Scarf Hydreigon, I am bringing my Swift Swim Life Orb Bear Tick, I am bringing my Contrary Superior, I am bringing Mega Beedrill, I gotta bring Mega Beedrill against Shino. Uh, I'm bringing the uh, Light Bald Raichu, and I'm bringing the, uh, your gen generic set Vaporeon, your lefties recovery toxic all Vaporeon. He is coming with Raikou, he is coming with Florges, Cresselia, Fortress, Infernape, and Kingdra. So let's go on ahead and get right on into this battle. Uh, if you ever want a chance to battle me, make sure you follow me on Twitter. Uh, I link to my Twitter, a link to Shino's Twitter, and a link to Shino's channel will all be down in the description below. Um, he is one of my favorite... Poketubers. Uh, I love his LPs. I love going out and hanging out in the streams. I just always have a fun time. So I lead off with my choice Scarf High Dragon. I didn't take a picture of his team beforehand. So I feel like if I would have, I would have been able to play this a little better. But he goes out to the floor just and I go for a Draco. Um, because like I said, I'm dumb. I did not take a picture of his team beforehand. So I wasn't really, I didn't know what he was going to set up. So I am going to go, I knew he was going to try and poison me. Get the Toxic off. So I go out in the Mega Beedrill. Or Beedrill. He's going to withdraw the Florges, and knowing I knew he was going to switch out on me, out into the Luna, so I'm going to Mega Evolve. There we see, ooh, Shiny Cresselia, look at that. I am going to Mega Evolve, get that Mega Beedrill on the field. What up, fam? There you see that Mega Bead. look at that power. Mega Beedrill's coming out onto the field. Mega Beedrill, I'm going to use a knockoff, get that thing out of here, do as much damage to that thing as humanly possible. Uh, get off the leftovers off that. I am going to U-turn out of here, I don't know what this thing wants to do to me. I really don't. Almost! 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 Almost take that thing out with a U-turn, which would have been very good, but I didn't. So I'm going to go back out of the Hydreigon here. Um, this thing does just use Moonlight because he knew I was going to switch out of the Hydreigon. Unfortunately, he read me like a book. You know, that's why these guys have huge channels. They're really good at what they do. Um, that's why I have a developing channel, because I'm getting better at what I do. So, unfortunately, he is better than me. So, I knew he was going to go back onto the Forges here, so I was not going to go for a Draco or anything. I'm just going to go straight up for a Stab Dark Pulse. Um, there we go. It, eh. Does not do anything. Does not do anything. Does not do anything. At all. So, I am going to switch out of here, out of Hydreigon. Uh, I do not want to take a quadruple effect of Moonblast. I'm going to go straight out of my Vaporeon, however, so I can hopefully kind of... Stall this thing a little bit. He goes for the Moonblast. Vaporeon is a tank. Vaporeon is going to eat that up. Look at it. It does... Eh. It's like 20%. Eh, maybe. That's eh, about 20%. There we see my lefties go off. His lefties go off. And I am going to go straight up for a Toxic here. He is going to withdraw, though. There isn't much he wants to do. Um, he's going to go out into the Fortress. I'm going to switch out, too because I'm going to hopefully get some switch initiative. I'm going to go back out in the blue eyes. The Mega Beedrill. And see what I can get off on this thing. Uh, I'm going to go for the knockoff, see what kind of damage I can do, because he does resist my poison jab, unfortunately. So he is just going to go straight up for a gyro ball. That is going to hurt. That is going to hurt. That is going to bring me down to well underneath where I want to be. Uh, I'm going to go straight up for a U-turn, get out of here. Trying to get some switching. I'm trying to get the upper hand on him at this point because, like I said, at, the, at this point in the stream, he's hanging out in his room with his girlfriend and his dog, and I'm sitting here on my DS just trying so hard, and it's not working at all. Um, I feel like he, uh, if he would have actually tried, this would have been a much quicker battle, but uh, he is going to set up the rocks knowing I was switching out of the B drill. There we see the lefty's recovery on the Vaporeon. Um, I'm just going to go for a Scald here, hopefully, fish for a burn. We do not see the burn. I did not know Fortress carried Volt Switch. That was my that was my bad. But I still eat it up because I'm a defensive tank. Uh, out goes the Fortress. He this is where this is where he has fun. This is where I just completely just I I've never seen somebody run a physical Kingdra. I have not. This is where he sets up a physical Kingdra. So there we see the Dragon Dance. As soon as I saw this Dragon Dance, I thought to myself, "Damn it." Um. But I am going to get the Toxic off on this thing. That's going to come in handy. That's going to very much so come in handy for this. Um, but we do see the Lum. We do see the Lum. So I'm just going to go straight up for another Toxic because he is just going to keep trying to set up. 
He, he doesn't try to set up. He does set up. We have a plus two king draw on the field. And I'm still sitting here trying to twiddle my thumbs away to hopefully, you know, do something to this guy. Um, Yu Yu is his tier. If you ever watch any of his Wi-Fi battles, Yu Yu is just a common thing. Um, it's why a lot of my battles are Yu Yu, honestly. I love watching the... I love seeing the Yu Yu Pokemon. I love seeing what they can do with them. I love seeing new things, like a physical Kingdra. We've got a plus two Kingdra going for an Outrage right now. I still am a tank, though. I'm going to eat that up. My wish is going to come true right here. That is going to be set up successfully. We get the lefties recovery. Um, and at this point, I'm just trying to poison stall and see what I can do to this thing. Uh, there's nothing I want to... Uh, there's nothing I want to do to this. Uh, plus two king is going to outspeed my uh, my scarfed Hydreigon. Uh, wish comes through. I am going to get the uh, lefties recovery right here. And this thing's just a monster. I mean, you don't don't let a Kingdra set up. There's two things I've learned today. Don't let a Kingdra set up, and don't let a Scrafty set up. But, unfortunately, I did not get a video of the Scrafty. I did get a video of this Kingdra that is just going to keep destroying my entire team. And we still don't have a confusion. We still don't have a confusion. I was so hoping for a confusion here. But I end up going out on Hydreigon hoping for the confusion. I don't get it. He is going to outspeed me and just bop me with his outrage. There we see the third outrage. Bop. Goodbye, Hydreigon. Oh well. At this point, I'm getting a little salty. Poison damage is still putting in the finest right now. Um, I am going to just sack off Blue Eyes' death fodder right here. That's all I'm going to do. There's nothing else it wants to do. I'm not even going to lie to you. I forgot rocks were up, and I sent that out, and I was raging in the chat. I was just like, I can't believe this just happened. So I am going to go out into my Bear Tick here. Bear Tick's going to hopefully attempt to put in the finest. Uh, we do see the stealth rock damage. Um, and oh look, he gets like his fourth outrage off with no confusion. It's payback for all the hacks in my video. This is what I do. This is what I do. I get a ton of hacks in my videos, and then when I go up against somebody big, I, uh, like the hacks just don't come through. So Kingdra doesn't even get confused. Like, Kingdra just goes down to the poison. Kingdra kills itself. Um, fortunately. So he's gonna go out and move Fossa the Raikou. And I, at this point, I have my contrary superior. And I have my Raichu. Um, there's not much I want to do to this thing, so he is just going to try and uh, he is just going to set up with Calm Minds. Great play on his part. That Calm Minds is going to come through because of the contrary is superior. However, because he only gets the one off, he could have ended up doing more. But I am going to go for a Leaf Storm here. Uh, if you haven't used contrary superior, um, all of the uh, all of the hidden ability Gen 5 stars are released. You've got the Shell Armor, Samurai. Reckless Embor and Contrary Superior, and honestly, Samurott sounds like the most useless. I can't wait to try a Reckless Embor out. Um, that's going to be one of my next things, is Reckless Embor. But Contrary Superior right now is putting in the finest of work. Um, he is going to go for a plus one extra sensory. That is going to do some damage. I am partially invested into Special Defense, and when I say partially, I mean uh, very, very, very partially. I'm going to get the Leech Seed off, hopefully trying to force a switch here. But he is still going to stay in. This is just a set I put together. I rock Leaf Storm, I rock Giga Drain, Leech Seed to force a switch, Giga Drain for the recovery, Leaf Storm obviously set up that plus two. And then I actually run HP Rock on this thing because um, Fire Bug and Flying, Fire Bug, Flying, and Ice are all weak against Rock. So in my opinion, any Grass type should run HP Rock, especially if it's gonna set up like this Superior does. Um, I am gonna take another, uh, take another extra sensory to the bank. I am going to get that Giga Drain off, get some good recovery back, get some good health back, I should say. There we see the left three's recovery on his end of the field. Here we see my lefties, and then we are going to go uh, get our Leech Seed back. So now I'll still be able to live one more extra sensory. I will be able to live that extra sensory. Because I know I've got it coming my way. Yeah, again, I love the recovery sets. Uh, if you've watched one of my previous Wi-Fi battles, I do have a Toxic Croak that just constantly sets up HP recovery. So, knowing this thing's going down, I am going to set up another Leaf Storm. I am going to get up to plus four special attack. So, if I would have outsped this next thing, um, it would have just done. It would have been game over. Plus four contrary superior. Unfortunately, like I said, I am battling a battler. 
battling a battler. I am battling a Poketuber. Way more skilled than myself. He goes out into Ignatius, the Infernape. Ignatius goes for the fake out to get that initiative because he doesn't know if I outspeed yet or not. We do see Life Orb on there. He does get the flinch. I do get my uh, lefty's recovery, thankfully. Um, and here we find out he does, in fact, outspeed me. Going for the Flare Bits. Blitz. Flare Blitz. Bops my superior. did not really bop it. We have 14 HP. That thing could afflict me and I'd have been down. Contrary superior, ladies and gentlemen, is going down. So I am just going to go out into my Raichu at this point. There's nothing I there's nothing I can do. There we see the recoil on the life orb. And at this point, it's GG. Shiny Raichu hits the field. Um, I'm just going to go for a Thunderbolt. It's the best option that I have, but he does still outspeed me. Flare Blitz. Flare Blitz for the win. <laughs> we laughed about this, but we do get the static off last turn, so I would have outsped. I would have outsped with anything else if I had one more Pokemon alive, but I didn't. So that is GG from my good buddy Shino. Shino World, Shino Bintrill, Shino. Back at it in a bono. What's poppin' though? I'll learn how to say his intro one time. There was a video that he did, but anyways, like I said, that was a wonderful Yu Yu battle against my buddy Shino. Thank you so much for having me on the stream. Uh, it was a pleasure to finally get to battle you. Hopefully, I'll be able to rematch you soon uh, before you head to PAX, after you head to PAX, either way. So, uh, if you like this battle, make sure you poke that like button for me, shooting for 10 likes on all my worst Wi Fi battle videos. If you're not yet, subscribe to the channel. You got da uh, double daily uploads. So, if that excites you, make sure you sub up. Like, a double daily uploads. Who does that anymore? Anyways, though, guys, I will talk to you soon. Later.